Hey guitar enthusiast, Lauren Bateman here. In this lesson, we're gonna be going over the next step to horse with no name. Let's get into the lesson video. So this is the first song I teach my students in my seven level guitar system. I teach them the easy version. So if you want the easier version, I'll put the lesson link up here. But this I'm gonna go into more of the real strumming that they do in the actual song. Cause that other lesson, I just give you a really, really simple way to get you started. But I went back and I listened to the song and the strumming is a little bit more intricate than you might think. So let's talk about the chords we're gonna be using. We're just gonna be using two chords in, in this song version. So we have an E minor chord, very nice. And we have this kind of like D slash six, nine. It's, it's, it's a weird chord. But basically what we're doing is we're just taking our E minor chord and we're moving the first finger up one, the second finger down one. Two chords, that's all we're gonna use. And if you look at some other versions, you know, there's like an E minor nine and another, we're just gonna stick with the, we're gonna stick with just the two chords. I think it makes it simple enough. Okay, so those are the chords we're gonna be using. And now let's talk about the strumming options we have for this song. So in the beginner video, I just had you doing, you know, four strums per chord which sounds fine, but it doesn't really sound like the actual song, right? The song, kind of like a, a ring to it. Right? So what is going on here with this rhythm? So instead of a straight beat, this song actually has more of a swing to it. So instead of it just being straight eighth notes, one and two and three and four and it's one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four. It has more of a swing to it, kind of like a shuffle that we would use for like a blues song. So this is what a straight beat would sound like using eighth notes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and very straight, right? Now here's the shuffle, ready? already sounding more like the song already. That's not the full rhythm. They're doing some other different things, but I just want you to get the feel of the shuffle first. Because most people, they play the song and it's one and two and, and they're like, man, it doesn't really sound like the song. And that's because this song has a shuffle. So it's one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four. Down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, okay? Here it is, listen. I just want you to get familiar with that shuffle pattern and then switching between the chords. So start with your E minor. One, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four. Again, one. Switch. One more time. Now for some people it can be hard getting off of that straight time and onto this shuffle pattern. There's kind of like a short long when you think about it. So we have, so it start with, starts with the long. Long, short, 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 long. All right, so that is the feel of the shuffle. That is gonna be the foundation for the rhythm we're gonna use. So I went and listened to the actual recording of this, and this is what I thought I heard them playing. Hey guys, hope you're enjoying this lesson video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn the notifications on. This way YouTube will let you know when I release new videos just like this one. So we're just gonna be leaving out a couple of strums. It's actually a two measure strumming pattern. We're gonna be doing one strum over the E minor and a different strum over that D6-9 chord. So the E minor chord's pretty simple. It's gonna be down, down, up, down, up, down, up. It's gonna be one, two. There's no up after the first down. So it's not one, a two, it's one, two, a three, a four, a. Uh. That's gonna be the E minor. One, two, a three, a four, a. Uh. too hard, right? One more time. E minor. One, two, a three, a four, a down, down, up, down, up, down, up. All right. So that's what we're going to do for the E minor. Then we're going to switch to this D6-9 and we're going to go one, a, uh, and 
and then we're gonna miss the two. So there's not gonna be a down strum after this. We're actually gonna do a second up strum in the rooms, up, up strum in a row. So it's gonna be one, a, uh, a uh, three, a uh, four, a. Uh. Okay, did you get that? Let's do it again. So it's gonna be down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. I think that's the full one. So one, a, uh, a uh, three, a uh, four, a. Uh. Okay, one, a, uh, a uh, three, a uh, four, a. Uh. All right, so if I put those together, it's gonna sound like this, all right? One, two, a three, a four, a one, a, a three, a four, a. That sounds a lot more like the song. And when I went and listened to that intro, you can go and you can slow it down. It's really good because you can hear the acoustic guitar very well. You'll hear that there's this kind of hopping going on and that's where we miss that second beat, that down strum over that D6-9. So once again, the E minor chord is gonna be one, two, a three, a four, a, and then the D6-9 is gonna be one, a, a three, a four, a. So no down strum on that two. One, two, a three, a four, a one, a, a three, a four, a one, two, a three, a four, a one, a, a three, a four, a. All right, so hopefully you can go listen to the song and that's what the rhythm's gonna be. All right, so once you get that section down, we're gonna move on to part three, which is we're gonna add an accent to the rhythm. So if you really listen to this rhythm, it has movement to it, all right? So we're really developing the rhythm on this song here. So we've got. So I'm accenting the two and the four on that E minor chord. So it's gonna be down two, right? Down two. So I'm really making sure on those down strums that I'm getting the full E minor chord. On the other strums, I'm just kind of strumming the top half of the chord. Here on that two and four sound a little bit different. And that's just on the E minor. Because then we're gonna switch on the D, uh, that D69. Remember, we don't hit the down strum on the two. If you want to accent on the four, you probably could, but I, I don't think I hear it that much. I definitely hear it more on the E minor. So this is what the full strumming pattern would sound like. Hear it? Two, four. Again. And there you go, that is the fully developed strumming pattern for a very, very simple song, Horse With No Name. Hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. YouTube is gonna pop a couple more videos over there. Go check those out and hope to see you guys in another lesson video.